Welcome back, Survivors! I'm Survivalvis, and we return Carnivore's Fallen Kings, partial beta 2.1.2. I did double-check and make sure that is what we are using, and we'll see how today goes for a hunt, given the last episode had a little quirk here or there. Like, when we look at Pristine Paradise, it doesn't actually say, like, the Iguanosaurus, the Diceratus, that were, like, the invisible little things that we see popped up were actually there. And we only really saw... Well, we did see a Hylaeosaurus, but we never did get the chance of actually taking it down. But we've got Mirror Guy, Baryonyx, some other stuff there. Okay, that's not yet added, so we know we won't have to worry about trying to see a Hadro... Hadrodiceus, I believe. Hadrodiceus. So yeah, we've got the three I'd still like to go and try for, so it looks like we need... Small Herbivore License, Medium Herbivore, and Baryonyx. So we're going to go back Pristine Paradise, and it does tell you everything here, what you can go for. Oh, I didn't actually realize. Not only does it tell you what you can go for and get, but it also tells you what times of day you'll find those things at, too. Like Pegamastax, they are only available at dawn and night. Uh, do, do, do. uh the Euro Europasaurus is only available at dawn and night. And it looks like the Neovenator only at dawn. Yeah, that's interesting to know. Okay, but again, we'll stack the whole licenses, grab everything we can. I, I'm kind of curious if I do need those or not. Hmm. Maybe I will take some stuff off that I know we won't have for, like, uh, we'll find a pristine paradise here. So I think we need... No, I don't think there's any large herbivores or giant herbivores. We'll take both carnivores because I think it said the Baryonyx was a medium carnivore, but it also says there's one that's a large too, so not fully sure. But let me read up on Pristine Paradise because we did kind of skip through things with how eager I was to get into the actual episodes and test everything out. So this, case, this location is known for its exotic flora and fauna. If you look hard, hard enough, you may even find a crustacean native to this region. This thin isthmus connects two parts of Primarchia as an easy way to travel between two points of the landmass. A foghorn has been set up for coming boats to the HC ships to guide them to land while also scaring the larger carnivores and keeping them at bay. However, it seems to track something nobody was expecting. So that is a foghorn we've been hearing. It's not some sauropod call like I thought it might have been. Instead, it is just a literal foghorn. But yeah, let's hop into another hunt, see if we can try to get some of these other dinosaurs from Pristine Paradise. And then we'll see about going out for another map. Hopefully see the, if the wind's any better today, too. Yeah, we're loaded in here. I see Finestrosaurus. Oh! Okay, we've got a couple of things. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I had the HUD turned off. Okay, we do have a Mirror Gaia out there. So I think this is where we're going to want to... Shoot. Okay, I'm losing my, uh... No, I think this little guy is trying to. Uh, if I can actually hit the darn thing. There we go. Yeah, so these little guys, I guess, are either aggressive or try to bite your ankles. Okay, let me see about reloading some of these. Yeah, there we go. That's good to go. And reload that, too. Yeah, I don't know if maybe they've given the weapons some extra sway to them to offset with, like, uh having the ability to hold your breath. But I don't think it's too bad. The only thing is, I do kind of wish there was just a little bit of a better way of knowing, like, how long is your total for you can hold the breath? Oh. Do wounded animals now show up on your map as well? Because, like, that's a nice little change, too, if that is the case. If you have shot something... Okay, I'd like to try go for another chance to the 
uh, mortal zone, because I believe it's the head. Okay, you just go running off. Thank you very much. I don't need... Now, I don't actually know if I did use a call there or not, because all of a sudden it did change... Uh, its direction's pretty hard. There we go. Yeah, not really my cleanest of kills, but it's at least something down. I do feel like for that rifle, you don't really hold your breath all that long with it, but... It might also just be I have to adjust to it more. Again, this is a bit of a new system to carnivores. But here's a Miragaya, so we'll collect that. And I didn't go through and change any of the density settings quite yet. I'll see how the rest of uh, this episode goes, what we encounter, and then see if I will do any changes or not. Oh. And it seems like we might have another possible hunt here. There's another Hylaeosaurus up ahead. Okay, so that's about 100 meters out. I think for this... Yeah, I might want to try using this little scout. I think it's a scout rifle? I don't see where you went. I don't know if it's because we were... Maybe he's gone down the ridge a little bit? Or maybe we were... <clears throat> no, I apologize. Clear on the throat a little. Okay. We had seen him. Or seen it. Oh. I don't know if he just, like, snuck behind me or he ran off or it ran off and picked me up. Apparently it's back this way now. Or maybe there's another one this way and I lost sight of the other one. Yeah, see, the problem is, it is... Apparently somewhere tucked in with all the bush there. Okay, supposed to be just a little bit ahead over here. Oh, right there. There it goes. Oh yeah, just a little thing, only four points for it, but... At least it's another one we have off the list. So I believe that only leaves the Baryonyx. Yeah, here you are. Ah, oh, poor little thing. But, that's at least one more off of our list for today. And I guess I'll go for a sprint further up north. Oh! Okay, we got another mirror guy out there. Now, I am wondering if... For this sniper rifle, the reason why the sway is so much is because you almost had, want to time its sway. So that way... It seems to have, like, a special spot that says, okay, this is your... breath is fully held. And it'll, like, try to draw you to that point. Yeah, at least with that one out there, it's not going to go anywhere, so I can... I wonder if I should try any of these... No, we'll try this out. I think it's basically just a automatic shotgun. Yeah, nothing in the water. Just want to be careful, just in case. 
I don't know what all could be out here that wants to attack us. But we do have this, which I think is just like an automatic shotgun. And then we also got the blunderbuss. And the venom rifle, I think it was called. No, oh, that has an oomph to it. Yeah, the venom sounds like it's a fun one to. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that has a fun oomph to it when you shoot it. Well, I'm not sure what's but. I'm not sure it's like to offset recoil or something with the uh like little flaps on the side or but yeah those that pop out are interesting okay we'll collect you as i think maybe we got the male and this is a female with the darker colors to the head I'm not fully sure but yeah i think that leaves only the uh yeah, we kind of blasted you. Sorry about that little thing. We just we're testing the rifle out. Just got the baryonics from the list, I believe, to go for. So we'll see if we can snag it today, and if not, we'll finish off the week with a trip out to. I think it's Taurus Everglades is the next one, or is it a basin? There's four maps currently in the mod, so we'll just be on to the second one. And yeah, the map is now a little more dynamic, too, where you... I mean, we still do have to find another wounded animal to make sure it does pop up that, if you have done that. You can track it that way to help you out. Now, I know some... I could see some people might be not liking that you can track a wounded animal, but... I think I kind of prefer having the ability to. As... As long as it's not like the full radar and you see everything at once. I think you should have something balance that out as an option, but having the fact that you at least know if you did truly wound an animal or not is a nice quality of life feature for carnivores. Okay, I'm Dinosaurus up there. Don't really see anything else, so you know what? I think we'll, we will go up and pay a little visit to this one. Maybe try out our blunderbuss. Although, yeah, it basically does seem like it's just going to be a hand cannon that you don't really have a good way of sighting. Yeah, definitely not sighting this sucker. Although, I feel like the reload speed's a little too quick for it. With how powerful that is, and it basically just decimates these poor things. And yeah, we'll take that one too. But I do like you can also pick and choose if you want a trophy back or not. I can see with how Saurian Target likes to do his uh, trophy collections and like try to get everything in certain lines. That little quality of life touch for the latest Mars Engine Edition is going to be just a godsend to help out with that. But again, I don't know how many mods currently are using the latest version. I don't know if there's any more bugs or issues that are still being tweaked out with some of the latest features. It's one of those ones, it's fun to see how it is coming together in progress. But I think you have to wait a while still to see the full potential really brought forward from it. Just that way it's like at a stable point and when you start possibly working and trying to code or mod with it. You don't have to worry about trying to update your build and then remaking everything in a way, or making sure it all complies with it. Oh, and there's a Dactylus. I mean, I could just turn on the radar to find stuff, but if these new quality of life additions are making the game more like hunt feeling, I want to keep that of... You just gotta roam about and see what you come across as you just wander on. Case in point! 
Got another mirror guy out here. Yeah, okay, it says it's about 280 meters out, so it's still a ways off. And I don't know if Will be as well concealed with all the bush in that here or not. Ah, no, I want... Yeah, we'll go for this. I think for, like, self-defense weapon, automatic shotgun is probably going to be pretty good. Yeah, the only thing is just that foghorn, it can kind of seem like it goes off maybe a little too regularly. And I'm trying to see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Mirror Guy is. The Mortal Zone should be the head. It's just that it can be a little tricky trying to get the shots placed there. Maybe. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's beyond the map's range. That's. Okay, won't be able to go for that, or, like, can't really get any closer to that, so we might have to just turn around here. Oh, maybe not. No, oh, no, hard to say. It seems like it is just a little bit beyond. We get the points for taking it down if we do, but I can't really, like, pursue it and make sure we would get it down all that easily. Yeah, it would have to be a mortal zone shot if I were to try taking it down. Nope. I didn't even realize I used up so much ammo with that. Uh, actually, it might even be at the end of its own range it can go, too. It's like it's not really running off like I thought it would for a shot like that. Oh, there we go. No, wait, how is that? I wonder if maybe, depending on the animal, you do get a range of score for it. I'll have to take a look and see if I can find anything else to hunt today. I didn't think to keep a track of, like, how many points I was getting per species. I think the Omdemos Omdenosaurus was 7? But maybe Mirror Gaia's just at 12. I don't know, I'll have to double check that. It could be again. I've just been my bad habit of always being in such a rush and hasty for stuff. I didn't really slow down and take a good check to see how much each thing went for. Is that the... Can't tell if that's like another one of those dolphin things or that's something else in the water. No, no, it is another one of the dolphins. Or toothed whales or whatever you want to call it. Not really sure how I classify that. I don't think it's a Bacillosaurus, but it, maybe it is an interpretation of one. I mean, with the Paleo art and such carnivores inspired by. Wait a minute. What? It... Oh, it's. Okay, it's that trophy being taken away. I was trying to think for a moment. We killed the Mirror Gaia, so what is that that was moving? Yeah, I'll be ready with this shotgun just in case. I have no idea if we will get lucky in finding the, uh... Baryonyx here or not, but we can at least keep going a little further and see. We can also try going for, like, another Hylaeosaurus if we see it. Or just anything else. That is one of the nice things to kind of have about... Uh, coming back to these games with, like, a fully loaded point roster. You can basically free hunt to your heart's content. You don't have to worry about only having specific species you can go for, or you only have limited weapons either. We can just goof off and have fun with anything we pick. I 
Yeah, we'll get down a little more... I'm actually kind of surprised at how far north I did roam on in this episode so far. Because I think that marker of that uh, white dot down there is where we may have began. Do, 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 do. It looks like just a Giravenator. And I really don't know what was up with, like, those weird, uh, like, trophy boxes that we had seen last episode. I don't know if maybe it's just, like, a bug that those species are from a different map? Because when we looked at the Pristine Paradise for, like, the roster it has, neither of the species we saw, the Diceratus or the Iguana something are actually supposed to be found on this map, so I don't know what to make of how that was popping up. Uh, we've made it back to basically where we began. I think we will follow uh, this little land bridge further down south. Just see if there is anything else lurking along the way. And then bring our episode to a close for today. Probably won't be as long as last episode since we don't really have to go over as much as we did then. And this was basically just like filling out a few slots too. Next episode we'll probably go into the trophy rock, uh, the trophy room or trophy gallery after our hunt. And just see how everything looks in there. Oh. Okay, we got a couple of Hylaeosaurus ahead. One quite a ways out, the other one though is only about 170. No, oh, but the wind might give us away. So I'll see if I can go... Yeah, bank more to the left, that way the wind shouldn't be a problem for it. And see if we can get sneaky close to use this sucker out with it. Okay, it's on the move. It did pick us up. There you are. Yeah, one will do it. So that one gave us six. I'm, I'm pretty sure the other one was only like a three, so maybe there is a variety of points you get for them. Uh, we'll take you back. I hear something else kind of big stomping around, but I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just an Omdenosaurus, or it could be something bigger. Now here's the old carnivore's uh, lethality of going up over a hill and not knowing what's on the other side. Oh, yeah, it probably is just an Omdenosaurus. Okay, is there anything we want to test out here? Yeah, so that's 200 meters out that way. Oh, I don't see anything else popping up, so we might as well set our sights on that. Okay, do we want the cam... I Maybe mean, we'll try even just with the camo pistol. See how much health these guys got. Also see how accurate the pistol is too, because I'm pretty sure it has a... fairly large spread to its possible uh, shots. Oh, there it is. You can almost keep the little thing as a pet if you wanted with how big it is. Or I should say how small it is. Like, look at the little thing. 
two, three, four, five. Yeah, I've got a nine for that one, so I do think there is some variety to... I guess depending on size of each uh, individual, you could get more or less points for it. I wonder if... Nah, I don't think the weapon you pick for, like, what you use to take it down will have an impact for, like, points total. I was going to say, I don't think it's gone that modernized, where it's like, you have weapons that are ethical for what you're going after. I think that's a little too much detail that you need, then, like, would need for carnivores. Just being able to have, like, the larger they are, a few more points you get is already a good enough detail. And then one thing I want to check as well, I know resupply is the down arrow key I have bound, like that's the binding to it right now, but I'm wondering if that means you just have like an inbuilt resupply and you don't have to like pick it from the shop, because I don't think there's an option for it. I think there was the camouflage and cover scent we're used to, the radar, and double ammo, and I think those were the only four options for like, uh... Modifiers? Or equipment? I'm trying to remember what that's called. I was hoping maybe we would have seen a Baryonyx, but it looks like we won't get lucky today. Maybe it is off on, like, its own little island out on the northeast there. Well, we at least got the rest of the species, so... We'll wrap up with, uh, Pristine Paradise for now with that. Yes, I have oh, another Hylaeosaurus, but I kind of feel a little bad for going after some of these, uh, dinos. Like, I do think it's fantastic for beginner roster. Small, rather not too fast, so you can keep track with it as you're trying to learn the ropes and using, like, some of the weaker weapons. You're more likely to get stuff down help you progress steadily. But when we're using things like the uh, tactical shotgun or the venom rifle, you can't help but feel a little sympathy for the poor dino, so we'll probably spare everything else and end today's episode right here with what we got. So thank you all very much for joining me on another episode of Carnivore's Fallen Kings. If you did like the video, be sure to give it a like. And if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure in the comments right down below. And until I see you all in the next video episode, Survivors, please remember, as always, take care and stay alive.